Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we will have a look at this puzzle here. And this one is called Feed the Cat Maze Puzzle. It's obviously a maze puzzle, yeah, I think that's pretty clear. And um, this one here is made by Creative Craft House in the US, Florida. It's made out of three layers of laser cut wood. One massive back layer here, which is seven millimeter thick. Then another one here, which is I think about six millimeter thick. And um, also the cover here, which is made out of acrylic glass. What's unusual on this puzzle is that some parts of the puzzle or of the maze are covered by these wooden plates here. Otherwise it would be very simple. I mean, it's not a difficult one. My difficulty rating of this one is maybe, I would give it a two out of a, out of a five rating. So it's kind of tricky sometimes, but it will not t take you too long to solve it. Anyway, it's looking pretty cool. And also I think for kids, this is the right puzzle to get. Link in the video description, of course. And regarding these covers here, yeah, this makes it a little bit more tricky than a common maze because you do not know what's going on below these covers. And sometimes they are a little bit different um, as you might expect and you will see later in the solution after the spoiler break what I'm talking about. Overall, this one here, this hole over here is the entrance. We just add one of these or put one of these steel balls here inside. It comes with plenty of them, which is also pretty cool because you tend to lose some of them, as, as, as least I do usually. And then you run these all the way through the maze and until you reach here the exit hole and just can take it out of the cat or of the maze, okay? After the spoiler break, I show you how to get through the maze and let's enjoy some close-ups and afterwards we're gonna check the solution. As you have seen in the close-ups, very well made. And now let's just start. I took already one of the steel balls outside of the bag and we will put them in here inside of the nose. And we will start with the maze by just maneuver here the little steel ball through the maze. In the beginning it's pretty, pretty easy, but then we come here to the first area where it gets kind of tricky. You can basically enter below this covered area three different um, corridors you can enter this one you can enter this one and this one as well and we have to pick the one in the middle um, and this is also the most trickiest one to get inside so I will just try to get inside and as you can see it's rather tricky because of course in the middle it's the hardest one to enter now we continue um, if you get fooled by this one here and do not know how to get out you maybe should stop puzzling okay but um, if not you can just continue here and this one is also kind of tricky because if I w will move inside here I will end up down here in a one way but the exit is somehow here um, if I go just um, reverse somehow up here and then I can exit this area okay and this is what I'm gonna do now, what I try to do now. And now I moved inside of this area, which is also wrong and the one way. And I need to go back and I need to find a way in below here to get inside of this corridor over here, okay? And this is what I try to do now. I try to go back again. Now I'm down here, which is also not good. I need to get up and inside here, exactly here. This is the way I wanted to go. And now I go this way over here and below here, I need to go around here. And this one is pretty cool. This is my favorite point here because it can happen if you move here, you get stuck and it blocks you. So it looks like it's a one way, but it's a small corridor that goes here, down here. And it's a one way. And in reality, the main corridor continues over here. But due to your natural movement of the puzzle, if you would like to 
roll here around this corner, the ball always gets you in the one way. So you, you need to make an uncommon um, move. You need to um, tilt the puzzle that the ball gets to the other side and then you are able to pass this area. Very cool feature. And then you continue over here all the way down here and then we can already see that we made it and we will just come close to the exit and the cat can probably already feel that we are close to the exit and <laughs> done puzzle solved <laughs> so i like this puzzle it's also a very cool puzzle for kids and therefore i give it my recommendation and my son also like to play with this one a lot as I mentioned before, if you're interested to buy this puzzle, just check out the video description. And if you like this episode, please leave a like, comment below, let me know what you think about this puzzle or about my channel. And of course, you can also check out and um, subscribe to my Facebook and Instagram channel. Until next time, keep on puzzling!